Hello guys, welcome back to another video. We're doing Wick the... I want to say Ward? I don't know how you say the word. Mind. So it's a red lower for 4 mana. Comes into play. Or not red, comes into play. You create a 1 1 snail. If you don't have one. If you have one, you put a count on it. Then you can pay 3 mana, Grixis, uh, to sacrifice and deal damage equal to spell to each opponent and draw that many cards. Cool. So we're running a. Technically Grixis, closer to mono black rat deck, we're running 40 lands with one, well, yeah, one of which being a spell land. As you can see on a mana base, all but one non-utility land doesn't add black, which is the Steam Vents. Everything else adds black mana, as opposed to, uh, apart from the Mute of Old, and I guess the three, three City, only later on in the game. Um, we have uh, a lot of interaction. That's where mostly our red cards are. We can see the rest of the deck. We only have one more red card. Uh, we're running the good rats, which lines up to running a lot of red colonies, which works really well with Wick. Like, don't get me wrong. And they get very, very powerful very, very quickly as well. Uh, we have some new rats in the Meronor, uh, the Vren, Persistent Mash Stalker, and I'll say that's all the new rats that I decided to put in the deck. Anyways, uh, we also have three little bit of mana here as well as the... Oh, I guess the Herald's Horn also works on the mana, but uh, less so. This is our kind of tribal stuff. We are drawing extra cards, we're creating copies, we're making all our creatures changelings. And that works really well with Wick because that means our snails are rats and our rats are snails. So whenever a rat comes into play, you can put a counter on any of them. And you can sack any of them to wick as well that's kind of the idea of working there and then also to make uh the snail better have ways to permanently make our creatures bigger so the modern sun cage sun huh, two suns um vanquish banner will depend if we have the mask with nexus in play also like an icon of ancestry so on and so forth it's a more it's a very I mean, it's full on tribal, a uh, lot more on the casual end, which is a good thing. Uh, I've been playtesting this deck and we're not getting matched against, you know, the mana drains and the uh, paradox engine kind of deck. I think we're, we're in a different queue, we're in the more casual, more fun queue, uh, which is a good change of pace. Like, this deck is good, uh, it's consistent, obviously, if you're running 20 copies of a same card in a single turn format, the deck becomes a lot more consistent than the usual. Uh, but it's just just a good change of pace. I say that when we, okay, I thought it was gonna be not do, but it's it's glarb, F freaking glarb. Okay, we're on the play. We have a thought seize. We have two rats. Uh, three rats. Uh, the three. This land, I'm still like the. I'm still not hundred percent on it. I don't know if we make enough rats quick enough for this land to be meaningful. Uh, maybe it's better in another tribal deck. This one has not been as good as I like. Ugh, this is gross. Oh, this is everything about this is gross. Uh, I'll take. I think the jet collector is gonna be the most annoying in the hand. Hopefully they don't draw lands for a couple of turns. <laughs> I think we go metallic mimic first. Giving our rats toxic as well is a good way to kill them off. Okay, so it's everything we knew about. If it doesn't go to the graveyard, it's probably one of the lands they're looking for. Unfortunate. Uh, us, on the other hand, we are not looking good for a land. Uh, cool, we go rat into rat. Bit annoying, that's the bamboo one and not the grazer, so we can't attack through it. They found a black mana. I mean, if they play Glarb, I have no option but to kill it. I would love to find a land though. Okay, cool. At least we're gonna be able to hit them back too. I'll take that. Land, fantastic find. We're gonna pay three life here and kill that. Put them to 20 here. Yeah, this is not great. <laughs> I mean, I did say we're in the more casual queue and then we got matching and sell tie good stuff, but that's okay. I may have lied. I don't think I lied. A land would be nice as well because we can go Herod's Horn into Red Colony, which comes in as a 4 2, 5 2. 5 2? 4 2. Okay. If that's what they're doing, that's not the end of the world. I mean, it's not good for us, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, we are kind of poised, like, we need a land here really bad. Thanks. Okay, cool. This. We go Herod's Horn on rats. 
Obviously, like we obviously can't overcommit. We know they have a uh, deadly cover up, but I don't think this is overcommitting just yet. We only have two creatures in play. I don't think this will trigger them to casting the deadly cover up just yet. Okay, are they, do they have a removal? Is this a uh, just a tap land? Is this a surveil? Not even a surveil. I think people don't fetch surveil lands enough. I think, like, yeah, Triumph is nice, but double, triple green double blue double black so like just get a blue black triome and you're golden yeah okay that triggered them doing that that's actually not bad for us uh, nice you get to draw a card from that that one is actually really interesting huh so, yeah we'll do that here because if you can go Wick, Red Colony, sack one of them to make... Oh, don't kill it. It's my, it's the first time I get to cast it. I've played like, what, 15-ish games with this deck. I've never drawn the Moro Nor. I had to use a rare wild card on him. Let me get one activation. God. It's okay. <laughs> At least don't have the land as well. Don't have the land as well. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> I think that was like the worst three cards they could have had for us there. A removal, a skewed song which we knew about, a land, but not just a land, a fetch land. So uh, we go again, we go again, we go again. So Tiger good stuff, obviously, is going to be a tough matchup. Oh, I really wanted to activate the Marrow Noir. I haven't had the chance yet. It's uh, There's some cards that you always have to triple check to find. To, to find like the uh oh really we got match against Soul Tiger with stuff. I mean obviously this is yeah Rock is not necessarily Soul Tiger good stuff straight up but it, it is Soul Tiger good stuff. Like they're playing Soul Tiger ETB which is basically Soul Tiger good stuff. Don't have a one drop ramp at least. I will generally go to the next game if I get match against Soul Tiger good stuff with a turn one ramp. Okay, but we're gonna go to the next game. Uh, mostly because I want to play a proper game. <laughs> we're playing against better decks, which is like Snow. We're playing a tribal deck. We we work on the synergy. Um, but yeah, getting to be on the play and then your opponent has the turn one ramps kind of like, come on, man, let me, let me let me have this for one chance. One chance, come on, lad. It's okay. Uh, alas, uh, I've been drafting a lot of Bloom Borrow, so I think I have currently. I have at least one copy of nine over ninety percent of cards on Arena. I can give you the exact number actually. So building decks have gotten a lot easier since I just happen to have a lot of the cards. Um, still need to draft a lot more Bloom Borrow though because there's some rares that I somehow just never see. And okay, another blue black deck. I mean, it's a keep. We obviously want to see lands. Crippling Fear. I don't know if this is the best. Uh, deck for Crippling Fear. Let me give you the exact number. I have 90.05 all cards on Arena right now. Or oh, a single copy. Let's, let's slow down our row a little bit, you know. There's a single copy, at least 90 cards on Arena. Okay, why is Arena lagging so much all of a sudden? Arena, you good? You good? There we go. Thank you, lad. Okay, we got a little Totsies on them. Okay, they're playing Zombies at least. That's cool. Uh, I mean, we can kind of set up the Crippling Fear, so let's do that instead. Obviously, we're going to need to re hit a couple of run of lands. They went for an isle. Oh, they don't have a black mana. Huh. Interesting, Minor Freunde. Why did I just go German there? I'm so sorry. I didn't even notice they didn't have red, uh, black mana. I, I mean, they obviously have the Plaza for the Scarab God. But, okay, Swan... Um, not Swan Tribal God. Uh... <laughs> Okay, I, I, I thought I took away your ramp, but that's fine, I guess. Tap land, not ideal in this situation. No, I think we need to hit our land drops. I mean, I'm obviously not going to attack you. We need to find a way to get rid of this um, Scarab God sooner rather than later, because they're going to play it very, very soon. Okay, these have been uh, some really good draws from opponent thus far. Oh man, we're playing 40 lands. I don't think it should be this hard for us to be hitting lands. Alas, this has been our luck thus far. We're running 40 lands. 
and four fat mana, so we own 44 rent pieces if you will. Play another zombie. Play one more zombie. Play one more zombie, god damn. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna draw a card, but that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. Oh, you have a counter spell as well? Okay, we're conceding. <laughs> I thought I was not in the mana drink queue. <laughs> Alas. That, well, that was a bit annoying, and we thought seize there, and we took, like, okay, let's get your guardian either away. You have no black mana, just a couple of mediocre zombies. They all not only draw the king signal, they draw mana drain as well. It's like, okay, cool. <laughs> Unfortunate, I guess. We go again, we go again. We lost, the, we lost the tribal matchup against the zombies. I would argue zombies have a advantage against rats. Not only, not, not magic-wise, I think, uh, lore-wise. You mean, is it? Mm. Cause like, if we, I'm not, I'm not gonna go off on this rant. No, but uh, like, imagine, right? Imagine, imagine this, right? You are a zombie. Okay, cool. We are, we are, we are, we are there. Uh, if a rat comes to you, they can eat you. You're vibing, man. They, they can't get rid of your brain. So, you know, they, this is just an unfair matchup. I swear I thought I was on the... Like, during testing, I was getting, like, very different commanders. Now it's the five color uh, legends. Okay, I mean, it's a different one than you usually see, but I don't think this is going to be a, a casual deck. I think it's just going to be, like, full ramp and powerful commanders. Do you have a one drop for me to kill Birds of Paradise? I was joking by the way. <laughs> Is the five color deck gonna have a one mana ramp? Just fetch like a trion. Just get a trion. Just get a trion. They're taking too long to think, so I think this is just a trion. No way. The five color deck has a turn one Ragavan. Luckily, I have this lightning bolt, but that's gross, man. Okay. We can't play the commander yet. I think we go Arcane Signet, because the next turn we can go Patchwork into the Red Colony. Obviously, we can go Wick as well, which might be better. But it depends what they do here. If they ramp, I, might, I will have to hold up. Jesus. I mean, what do I even do at this point? Play a tap land, play a red colony pass, I guess. But that's gross. Ragavan, Elder. I was expecting us to be in a more casual queue, but it uh, doesn't seem like that's the case. Because like, there, there's a point system for certain cards where I put you in a more competitive queue. And I even like uh, at first I had manager I had more a more blue mana base and I was running mana drain uh, counter spell memory lapse in the deck I was like nah there's no need let's not do that let's run a more casual more funsy format and then and then yeah and then apparently we just get punished for it um. Yeah, I guess we do this on rat and we pass the turn because we kind of do not want them to resolve their commander right now. I don't want to attack just yet. Next turn we can go wick into into rat colony. Can they not cast this? Oh, they couldn't cast the last turn. No, they can. Last time they couldn't cast because this has the both blue and black were in the, the same land. Opponent. Oh, I guess they have this as well. Oh, I guess it only adds white. Mm. I mean, they're gonna cast it next turn anyway, so I kind of need to find a removal spell. I uh, will not. I will block the elder if you attack with it. I will not block the Lauren. <coughs> what I'm dying. Uh, we'll get a blue black land here, the survey land. Look for removal. Uh, where is it? On the city sewers. Sewers? Sewers. Land goes to the yard. Yeah, that was an easy choice. And then we draw land, please no. 
I mean, it's not a bad car, but I don't think it's what we want to be doing right now. So we're going to play Wick the War Mind. Then I'm going to play the Rack Colony, put a counter on the Snail. It's going to be able to draw us a couple of cards next turn. We'll, we'll offer the trade. We'll offer the trade for the Lauren. Like, we need to push damage. We can't just sit back. So, yeah, this wouldn't be the best. Okay, we'll take... Uh, actually, that would turn off the... They're gonna be giving us both a card, that's not bad for us. Well, that's not good for us either though. No roughs, please. Por favor. I could draw three cards with this next turn, which gives a good chance of finding a removal or interaction of some kind. They have they have the mana, so they have eight mana right now. Could be like an Atali. Um, what other big legends are there? Is Gauta? No, Gauta is more than eight, I think, I want to say. Um, I mean, it's just all the legends, they're five color legends. With the amount of legends that get printed nowadays, you can never know what the opponent has. Okay, since they're tanking, I'm assuming it's not, it's not a legend that's gonna kill us on from the get go. So I'll take that, I guess. Okay, I don't even know what that is. I don't think anyone makes a do. There's damage to, to that creature's power to any target. That's so gross, man. Actually, yeah, I mean, they would have to sack the Elder, I guess. I mean, they could sack this and kill one of my red colonies as well, which is also gross. They got three treasures. They even have so much mana. Yeah, I think this is dead in the water. What could be fun? It'll be good. I don't even know at this point. I don't think there's uh, anything good from it that I can think of. Yep, nothing can do about that. And you get three treasure. They have seven open mana. Yeah, that's not helping us. I think I have to sack the snail. Draw two cards. See if we find anything useful. I'll be shocked though. I don't. I don't. I can't think of anything that'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> How many lands were that in a row, man? Oh, alas, alas, alas. I think that was a better showing, but again, just not quite what we needed to see on those draws. Come on, rats, do me a favor. Come on, we, we, we're, we're doing so much better li earlier. What, what happened, lads? Do you have performance anxiety? I know how I, I know how it feels, my friend. Are we playing against four color legends now? Can I be on the play at least so we have a chance? Cool, we have a chance. No, it's just four color good stuff, okay. Um, this is fine. I think I find the Grixis land here. I don't have, I mean, I do have double blue later on in the curve, but there's no, nothing I can do about it. Grixis land, red colony, red colony, roaming throne, hope for the best. I could fetch it on my turn, but let's just, you know, be annoying. Let's play correctly, which is fetching at the end step. They put it on top, that's all right. I, there you go. Why is it not enough bats go? I don't know. That's not a bad find. Red colony go. If they play a turn to ramp, I'll kill it, I guess. It's a creature ramp and not paradise druid as well. No turn to ramp. Oh, I should have played my creature before combat. That was a mistake. We, we missed one point damage. But they're holding something though. Cool. So I guess it was not a bad thing to do. So it was actually the right thing. I'll keep that. Interesting. I think I don't care if they resolve the first the first time around because I have a bit of triumph. Am, am I getting whirlwind denial? Why are you playing whirlwind denial? Oh man, I get confused by people's card choice sometimes. Not gonna lie to you. I mean, are they gonna have another counter spell? Yeah, counter me, man. Oh my god, are we really getting multiple counters? Okay, it's a charm at least. <laughs> <laughs> at least it was not multiple counter spell. Well, I guess it is, but I just couldn't hit it. Well, do you have a path to exile? I mean, a path to exile wouldn't be the worst, though. It can't be a sword, they already use the swords. I don't know, we wouldn't deny it's a weird god. I don't know if I would play it. Oh my god. Sure? Nothing I can do about that. They still have something for one mana. One white mana. Thing for one. 
But this doesn't whenever okay it does work. Cool. Am I getting path? No path. Am I getting raft? If I'm raft, I'm conceding. Cool, I'll, I'll counter that. You you cannot get annoyed after countering oh my god, I hate people sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Let's do this. Swing for 10. I mean, we might get there if I don't get the raft right now. If I get raft, I will concede because I'm not coming back. Because this is going to be 8 mana. Oh man. Oh, these, these have not been good matchups, I think. Ugh. <laughs> these have not been good matchups thus far. But we'll go again. I still like, like, the thing is, um, this is a more casual deck, like, uh, uh, the last few decks I've posted have been more competitive, so I'm obviously more on the, like, oh, I, I expect to win games. I expect this deck to do well, I expect to win games, so on and so forth. This deck, I'm like, yeah, cool, we're playing rats. We get there? No? Okay, cool, it happens. I don't think I can... I mean, this is really good against... I, uh, Crucis is a pain in my backside, so obviously Kodan's Conan is nice, but... This is okay, this fetch the Grixis land again. Our hand is kind of um, Totsi's proof, only the Meronor being the odd one out. Okay, we're not getting Totsi's, we take it. And we have to find the Grixis land here, I can't get a Surveil land since I need both my colors. Another red colony, I mean, there's gonna be a good amount of pressure. But the Crucius is a pain, I would love to find some kind of and speed removal. That's kind of like the worst possible draw, man. I would love an arcane signet, but this is awkward. I can hit for two, and the next turn I can play two. Nah, I think we hope to hit a land. Play two red colonies, swing in for ten. I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna. I really need a removal for this. Crucius, this Crucius is gonna get them a lot of value. This is this is the most awkward. Why isn't why would wow if I was a king second it would have been so good man? Did they hit a one mana card? No, cool. Red colony Red Colony Swing for ten Cool Do we get there? Can we dodge a rough? Of some kind. A rough that would only kill my board. I mean, no, still, like, if they get a four, okay, I don't like that. I don't like that they just passed the turn. I really. Why do they have so many basics? You're playing a two color deck. I don't know what I'm supposed to play around here. I mean, you can play Red Colony and Coats too hard. I think I go for the Wick. Makes all my creatures into 6 power. So, they have to kill one and block another, and then they will take 10 damage. Go to 2. I'm just making one more rat so my creatures are bigger, there's nothing else. I think you should ought to expect that from me. W why is it nice? <laughs> I mean, you have something, right? So why are we acting like we don't? Okay, we're conceding, or are you we winning the game? I am so confused. What the hell? They have... I don't know, I don't think I have fun. They have six mana. They got two triggers out of Crucius. And somehow four red colonies kill them. You know what? We take those. A win is a win. A win is a win, man. A win is a win. A win is a win. <laughs> I was very confused by that. Let's do one more final game. As always, the deck is going to be down in the description. This is obviously my version. There's different ways you can build it. You can go lower on the red colonies. You can go heavier on the red colonies. You can go deeper into Grixis. Because I went mostly mono black, splashing blue and red. Um, there's multiple ways to build. If you have different build like and you've been having success with it, do send me. Uh, I'm always interested to see different takes on on decks I build. Uh, and then for the next deck I'm gonna build, I don't actually well I have a bunch built, but I don't know when I'm gonna get enough wild cards for them. 
This black market connection is really good. Uh, obviously, we need to hit a land. Please, if they have a turn one ramp, uh, I will concede because I don't. F for the final game, I don't want to be on going third. Um, okay, cool. They don't because I'm playing a tap land. If they want a turn one ramp, they'll be like, "Cool, let's just not do this." Uh, that doesn't change my play. We can go codes too hard. I think we're gonna try to go long here. Yeah, that's gross. That's gonna add so much mana so quickly as well. We can go double red colony, but I'm rough, 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 rough. We're going for a long game. That's okay. I mean, as okay as it's gonna be. That's okay. As a, oh, that's actually really gross with that, but okay. Black market connection. I think I killed the 3 3. So if they want to get the second part of this, they have to sack the Fnatic, which they might do. They probably wanted to tap it for mana if they were going to sack it. Please don't have artifact removal or enchantment removal right now. That's okay. Oh, that's okay. At least they don't get to do it this turn. Cool. We're gonna take all three of them. Oh, that one is. I could do a setup turn, but I think that might be greedy. I think I kind of have to play stuff out and get the board going, make that bigger. Play this one, make that bigger. I mean, they have a lot of mana to work with right now. That's... Oh, gee, that's so gross that they used that much to cast it. I could double block here. I don't think that's the worst. But if they have a, ra a removal, which they're very likely to have... Sure, get a land. I'm hoping if we draw, the best draw here would be a land, I guess. I mean, I'm going to die to this black market connection, then I probably. We're not putting enough pressure. They're gaining a lot of life. What even is that? And we draw a tap land. Yeah, I mean, just just kill me. Yeah, cool. Uh, is this even good? We're just going to die. Do we have a way to get rid of this? Not really. I think we've lost. Uh, I guess we can sack our creatures for life. Never mind, we can sack our creatures for life. So we're not dead in the water. We're also in an awkward position, but not dead in the water. <laughs> That's gross. I can... What do you have? Oh, they have a food they can sack. I think this is the best I can do. Because if they have a removal, at least they won't push in the damage. And here, it's same, same thing. They have the removal. Oh my god, really? Uh, let's go one more game. The, oh, Jesus. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's go one more game. I think we had an interesting draw there, but geez, Louise opponent has a really powerful draw as well. One good draw to another. Let's get one final game where hopefully we get a, another good showing. We had like a, we had good signs. But uh, I don't know, I expect us to play against more casual decks. I thought this deck should be in a more casual queue. Doing tasking, I did face more casual decks, but uh, c'est la vie, c'est la vie. One final game, and then we'll call it quits. It's really hot right now, and to record videos, I need to turn off the fan, so I can only do a video so long before I start sweating me balls off. Okay, Flage is not the end of the world. Can I be on the play against the red white aggressive deck? I cannot. Can I be on the play any game? I cannot. No removal. I think we have to mow this. 
We have to keep this. And we draw six mana cards. That's rough. Like playing Mimic is just gonna die to Flayed, so I don't wanna play Mimic, so I just play Wrath Colony so he dies. Do you have a one drop as well? Okay, that's not the worst. We'll play the Wrath Colony so he dies, I mean I can't do anything about it. If they miss a land, I'll have to miss a land as well, otherwise we just lose. Jeez, okay. Okay, they're not missing a land. Oh my god, okay, we're gonna go for one more game. <laughs> it's just like, okay, we're not gonna play land, so we avoid land tax. Lotus, cool. Let's do one more game where we're on the play. <laughs> Come on, let me have one final game where my deck gets to do something. Oh, Lotus. I mean, it makes sense for them to play Lotus in the deck, but then really, Lotus with land tax, that's so gross. Come on, give me, give me. Give me a, like a, a weird opponent, like a weird deck that we don't usually see. Uh, put me on the play and give me three lands in my opener. I don't think I'm asking for too much. Maybe a little bit, but not so much. I'm so sorry about that. But yeah, like this will be the final, final game because I am starting to sweat a lot and this is uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, okay, that's that's a different commander. I haven't seen Sir Allen in like ever. We, oh, we on the draw though. So close, so close yet so far. Black market connection is really powerful, but I've, I don't know, it's just really hard to mitigate it. These two are a bit awkward on the draw. I think we're gonna go again. I, 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 did I not just say you were a bit awkward on the draw? Why are you in my hand again? Ginger Brute, that's fine. Is it every card I mow the way they decide like, hey, we're coming back to your hand. <laughs> Okay, that's is it triple one drop on the play? Okay, at least it's not. This is triple one drop on the play. <laughs> I wanted to have one final game where I get to play the game, and my opponent just goes triple one drop on the play. Jeez Louise, man. Jeez Louise. Was an anthem effect now just to make matters better? Just a removal. That's fine. <laughs> okay, at least that's a removal. If I kill it, I get it back, and I'm more under that much pressure just yet, but cheese Louise. This is so gross, man. I mean, we'll take a turn off, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. It's a very strong draw on the play. I have more, like nothing this turn, nothing insane. That's, I mean, I guess it is what it is. That's like, uh, I don't know. Another land, nice, exactly what I was looking for. Let's go for red on here. We'll play this out and we'll pass the turn, holding up the wash away. Now at least we have blockers. Also, this is gonna keep attacking me until we find a removal spell. No way you have another removal, right? This is so gross, man. This is the definition of so freaking gross. What is my opponent's draw? Hey, we got something out of the top of my deck. Okay, at least we can play a lot of red colonies, I'll take that, maybe that gives us a chance. Now our fear is the ginger brute is just gonna kill us because we don't have a removal spell as of yet. But I mean, one turn, for four mana we made, what is that, 24, 28 power? Play your land and play your commander. Oh my god, they got a flyer now as well. <laughs> Leave me alone, leave me alone, man, leave me alone, I'm dead next turn. Oh my god, man. <laughs> this is a deck we should beat, but what is this draw from opponent? Ginger Brute, two like ways to dodge my stuff. I haven't seen a single piece of removal. And I'm still not gonna see a single piece of removal. Can we please tap the Cavern of Souls at least? Can I see a piece of removal? This is insane! <laughs> okay, we're gonna go one more game. I'm sorry. What is that? Opponent had the most insane aggressive draw. I failed to draw a single piece of removal. I then draw five cards and I draw five lands. I must have angered someone at, at Wizard of the Coast or some kind of god, some kind of entity or deity just really dislikes me today because 
that was a matchup that we should win a hundred times out of a hundred and somehow opponent had the most insane draw and we somehow had zero interaction uh with oh there we go we have one more interaction in this hand than we had in the previous game um and then we draw five cards and we somehow in the five cards we get five removal spells that's so gross man come on am i getting thought seized that, oh my god now my removal is not gonna have such a good impact but let's go we somehow have zero swamps with two swamp mattering lands let's go they have a removal spell for my red colony let's go yeah this is this is it this is it this is the final game i am uh, i am so done with magic today <laughs> can i win if we resolve this oh my god okay at least we got something to get rid of that okay discard a card and destroy that give me a little bit of luck come on the worst is like i have three somehow i have three tap lands in my hand because in my mono swamp deck i have zero swamps Please stop. What is your final card? I thought sees as well. What was that? Okay, I thought so. What is that? I mean, they're not the end of the world. I think we destroyed that, I guess. And I have to take a damage as well. We drew three pieces of interaction this game. We needed that last game. Oh my god, they're still hitting all the lands. That's fantastic. Let's get a swamp here, just a basic swamp. I have double black and double red. I don't think I need any more. Just get a swamp. We're gonna play Vanquish's banner on rats. And hopefully from this point onwards we can kind of play the game. Did they hit runner runner lands? Please no. Okay, it doesn't look like they did. They hit another foretell spell. I don't even know what foretell spells that could be. Okay, we're getting all the interaction this game. I needed that last game, lads. Let's play this one. I needed that last game, like one piece of interaction had won me the last game. Yeah, nothing can do about that. I don't know what they foretold though. What is black foretell spells? I could search, but I'm not gonna do it. Am I really not gonna see a single piece of land? A uh, single rat? Now let's swing first. Actually, we'll play the Grave Pact and pass the turn because we can sacrifice and make them sack a creature draw a card i think this game should be in a good spot i mean they can play the hourglass coven do you put it on the battlefield yeah wait do you get two no draft a card twice oh my god the card's so gross what the hell Why do you get two? Oh, at least it's only the beginning of upkeep. And what mana cost are the, the draft cards? Three, so I can't even kill it with my Fatal Push. Nice. I can play Red Colony, Sacrifice, and make them sack and then Fatal Push. Okay, cool. At least I can get rid. They have Ward? Why do they have Ward? Oh, because of you. Okay, that's fine. Red Colony. They kept the thing in the graveyard, so that's obviously great for us. What does this do? Uh, I can go Crippling Fear and just kill both of them, but I might want to wait for them to get that one next turn. Let me attack for three here, see what they do. I doubt they would double block here ever, because it's not a good play. Oh, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. On board tricks, on board tricks, my friend. On board tricks, my friend. That's okay. I mean, it's fine if they get it back because I have. Why? Where? I am a rat deck. Where are my rats, lad? Where are my rat boys? Where are my rat boys at? Like, I'm assuming they. Oh, I know which one it is. They're getting all the. All those back. Oh, okay. That's not the worst. Uh, sure. Sure, I'm gonna crippling fear next turn, so this is okay. Obviously, if push comes to shove, I can all uh, get a triumph here. What are those? Beginning of each of your keep each opponent loses two life and gain two life. Beginning of your keep each opponent means five card exile. Okay, each opponent exile my graveyard. That's fine. I'm just not gonna see rats this game, huh? Okay, they can sack two of them. It is what it is, I can't do anything about that. 
then I can thought seize them after. I'm somehow not seeing any rats, man. Seeing all the interactions I needed the last game, but no rats. Sure, resolves. And they put it. Uh, and they put it in the graveyard again. Let's thought seize them. What are you working with? Yeah, you're not having that. Play the swamp, play the horn on rats, obviously. Hopefully this horn will help us find some rats, finally. But it's been a while. I can always also fatal push my rat colony to make them uh, sacrifice a creature. Are they bringing all the things back from the graveyard? If they are, we probably lose. Is that the foretold card? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> Man, I can't hit lands. And these are the cards my opponent draws. Uh, I'm gonna give a draw step or two, see if I can find something that means anything. It's like, what am I supposed to do? Please, one rat on top of my deck at least. Like, generally, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Hey, we have rats in our deck. Who would have thought? Hey, another rat. Let's go. We're getting cards now. We can play the game, finally. Let's go. We can play the game. Our rat deck is drawing rats after 37 turns. Um, I think we go to combat here, huh? Where is the commander? This one, I can kill that one. Depending how they block. Wait, why do they, why is, why are they all four threes? Oh, I guess because they're usually three twos, two twos, and then there's also this. Is this the commander? They are trading the commander. That's obviously a great sign for me if they're trading the commander. That's obviously a joke. Um, sure. Okay, they put in the command zone, nothing can do about that. Trades. Chip on its sacks. Ward. Discard. Gain life. Sure. Sacrifice one. I'm gonna sack this. Uh, they took the discard one away. We're gonna sack this guy real quick. Gonna draw a couple of cards and make you this card. Well, make you lose a creature. Sure. Deadly cover up is a good find. I will kill one more though. I'll kill this guy as well. I will pay the two. And then you can take your turn. Okay, that was that was as good as it's gonna get, I guess. They can obviously play this again. I could deadly cover up. Is it even good? I mean, this is not the end of the world. Like, I'm still attacking. They're kind of in a position. They're forced to trade because of their life total. And then if my creatures die, which one? Discard. Lose two life. Okay. We'll trade the whole board then. Can you lose two more creatures, please? I can kill the whole creature because now I can play the Metallic Mimic, trigger Wick. Uh, unfortunately, the Metallic Mimic does not trigger my banner, huh? Is this a commander? No, the commander just died. Cool. Cool. They're left with the one that makes me this card, which is the one I least care about, I think. Rat? Rat? Rato. Raton. Mouse. Frick's sake, man. Uh, we'll play this on rat. Rat, rat, rat. Trigger. I think I sack it. I kind of want to find anything. And then, like, yeah, they sack it to gain a life. I think that's fine for me. Because then I get to push three damage as well. I could even attack with, like, a restless reef. I uh, probably can't because of the mana. How many lands do I have left in my deck? 26. I could make it 25, but I don't think it's worth my while. Grave pack works really well with Wick. I do like the combination. I do hate that this like this uh, card style is so bugged that you can't see the card's name. There's quite a few cards like that right now. 
lose a life, uh, well, take one, I draw a card, you sacrifice a creature, you're gonna sacrifice to this, so you're actually gonna gain a life, and then gonna lose that life that you gained. Resolve. A rat, that's fantastic. It's gonna enter with a counter, it's gonna make a token. That's really good as well, cool. Not blocked, then we go Nashi here, bring the wick to my hand. Nashi hits them, I'm gonna draw the top card of both of our decks. What do we find? Blood for bones. Yeah, let's do both. Blood for bones, we're gonna sack. We only have rat colonies. Let's sack the snail, honestly. And then bring back two rat colonies. Uh, I'm gonna play another rat colony. Black Market Connection, we'll play the fetch land and then we'll pass the turn. Um, playing this is just not good enough right now, they need a wrath. Tome of Legends, okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's like, this screams desperation from them. Was it Exile from my deck? A Fraxen Tower. Dark Ritual, that's maybe okay. Oh, yeah, this is three blockers, block, 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 take eight. This is lethal? Like, this is lethal on board, but uh, I'm gonna have some fun. I do like, uh, uh, this This card is very interesting. I haven't seen it, like, forever. I feel like when it came out, I did see it a couple of times, but it has been so long since I've seen it being played. Oh, that's fun. I mean, obviously, we don't get to draw it from that, but... We do get to go the Immortal Sun. Uh, we get to go Wick. We get to go Pack Rat. Uh, we ran out of gas. Well, let's draw three cards. Make you sacrifice a creature. Attack you for a trillion damage. We got a win, let's go, we only had to play 50 minutes, oh well, we got two wins. I do enjoy this deck, like I said, this is on the more casual, and if you guys stuck out until the end of the video, like, do leave a like, uh, do subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Adios, monsieur.